In fact, 8 hertz is translated by removing water from melatonin in the pineal gland and producing harmine or penaline, the 8 hertz molecule of the third eye, which is an atrophied eye that is sensitive to microwaves, to infrared, to ultraviolet, to sound, <clears throat> so, and is able to root those media into the visual cortex, including being able to sense, perhaps, the coherent light of the DNA, which has plus of 100 units per second released continuously from the living DNA. The darkroom cultures of the Rig Veda were spread to Turkey. We mentioned that the Cygnus mysteries of, of Turkey, um, as covered by Andrew Collins, um, related specifically to mushroom and shamanic plants in contact with the elders from Cygnus. But a large series of underground cities 32 levels down that were lived in for 3,000 years were discovered underneath the surface complexes, the oldest surface complexes 11,000 years old, um, as recorded by the University of Freiburg, which also found that the garb of the priests and priestesses are exactly those of the Rig Vedic Sumapas and some of the names of the gods directly mirror the and root etymologically to the Rig Vedic gods of Soma, the wonder ambrosia. So here the mushroom is shown. Mushrooms are known to be used in this culture, are depicted so is the wild root, Pagunam Harmala, Soma Raja, so is Ephedra, which in the Veda is called Soma Lata, the energizer. Um, and this would be combined with their darkroom practice. So the mushroom of the Eleusinian mysteries is not unique to the Greeks. The Greeks were simply recycling an ancient initiation systems. In Sumeria and Mesopotamia, you have the vase of the waters of life of the gods. And you also have the tree of life with the sphinxes or griffins beneath it. Notice that the base of the tree of life is the magic mushroom. So the magic mushroom in ancient Sumeria is shown related to the waters of life and the sphinxes of metamorphosis. Just as in the Vedas, there are sphinxes, Soma sphinxes of metamorphosis. And in the ayahuasca states, many of you may well have encountered kind of sphinx-like archetypes that are composites of different animals or different fields that normally would not be together, impossibly so, but seem perfectly whole in their archetypal sphinxification. So the notion of the fruit of knowing, the fruit of wisdom, the fruit of knowledge rather than the wisdom, where the serpent of medicine, the serpent of life, the serpent of knowledge um, is related to a mushroom, um, has deep roots. <clears throat> Other parts of the Sumerian pictograms or cylinder seals indicate mushrooms of different forms and shamans of different forms. The shamanic aspect of this even has the 13 main gods of Sumeria related to botanical plants. It's a detailed subject which we have explored for quite some time. Here we see how the same concept of the pillar of light, the pillar of the spine, going to a circle with a point in, which in the Sumerian um, cylinder seals represents the all-seeing eye, as it does in the Indus Valley um, culture, where the priests, the Sumapa priests of Mahendradaro, wear the same circle with a point on at their third eye. Also in Egypt, is, it is known as the all-seeing eye of the third eye, which of course contains the penal line. Here we have two shamanic priests, which can be fish-headed or eagle-headed or bull-headed, and they hold the bandudu buckets. The bandudu buckets contain the ambrosias of initiation, the magical drinks. In the other hand, they hold a pine cone, two 
the pineal gland. The pictograms of the Tree of Life describe the shamanic metamorphosis. We see on the left bottom corner, in fact, a man that is becoming Scorpio, that is transfigured into the stars, just as the somapas would become one with the stars. Here we see the shamanic initiation between the guardian priest shamans into the shamanu vehicle as it is known. <clears throat> the Mayans likewise used the plants of the gods. The gods were said to come down from the sky in their crew vehicles and teach them about the magical essence of plants which was called eats. Here we see the Ololioki um, plant which contains natural LSD or LSA the milk mother that provided the essence of the gods. The experience, the entheogenic experience, being wrapped up by plant-like snakes is quite common to mushroomic DMT-like experiences in salvia divinorum. Here we see mushrooms, in fact, composing parts of that transfiguration into the bird of the heavens. And here we see a mushroom, in fact, being the body through which the warrior is going into the voyage of the heavens. Here a priest, a dear priest is or shaman is undergoing his process of preparing for an anima. Their entheogens would be rather than modern times injected into the vein, injected through the rare as an anima. Different substances combined as is quite well known in ethnopharmacology. Likewise, in Mexico, kilometers of tunnel systems going very deep under the ground were used for initiations, um, some of which are sound sensitive to specific harmonics. These pictures are from NASA remote imaging. <clears throat> Intriguingly, um, in Peru, a series of contact cases with um, apparent extraterrestrials um, give an interesting stance to consider, remembering that numerous curanderos, especially long-lasting curanderos of Peru, are certifying that there are contacts with star gods or human beings beyond this world that are related to us and who gave us the legacy of shamanic, the shamanic arts. During the 60s, a German businessman came to have contact with beings <coughs> who had visible starships, who were botanists. <coughs> he went to their plantation deep in the Amazon. Um, they lived amongst head hunters or cannibals. Um, he was given this ring by his contacts, a peculiar group of people. He wrote about this um, during the 60s in his book, Cancer Planet Mission. <clears throat> Spending time with these Indians, and this is a depiction of one of the beings that he spent time with, called Xiti. <clears throat> When he was taken inside the so-called starship, rather than it being a metallic mechanical thing inside, it was an organic device. It was a starship that was a kind of plant technology. It was cybernetic. It was alive. The computer system was a living cybernetic system. It was a plant supercomputer. They said that Relatives of them in the ancient past had brought plants into Central America. Salvia divinorum, one of the mystery delights that has emerged just before the millennium in terms of the signif molecular significance, is a mystery plant, a plant that has no botanical parents directly on this planet, appears to be exo-botanical, possibly extraterrestrial. It cannot survive by itself. It can only be uh, cloned, and it's the long hair dressed in white Mayans of Oaxaca who cultivated it for 8,000 years or so, and who said that the gods came down in their coup vehicles and had placed the essence of their overall society in this particular molecule. If we think of the hadronic force uniting this configuration of electrons, then this may very well be a form of 
aether or akashic engineering by molecular strings. There are 432 electrons.